On this week's edition, we're going to tell you about Rappahannock IT and the beautiful new office that they've created in the historic Woolen Mill property in Fredericksburg. On this week's edition, I'm at the home of Rappahannock IT at 203 Ford Street, Suite 101, next to the Woolen Mill in Fredericksburg's Canal Quarter District. And Cody Harrell is the owner of Rappahannock IT, yeah. and uh, he was nice enough to show us his, his beautiful new office here. Yeah. And so, Cody, first of all, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Yeah. So uh, tell us first of all about Rappahannock IT and the kind of services that you offer. Yeah, so we started in 2017 and we are a managed IT service provider, uh, basically where we'll come in and we fully manage your IT operations from servers, uh, networks, PCs, printers. We kind of help with everything. We want to be your one-stop shop for IT. Okay, and how can people find out more about the services that, that you uh, offer? They can visit our website at, uh, it's just rappahannockit.com and we also are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we have all of uh, the social media platforms. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about this beautiful space that you've got. I know you were previously kind of downtown on Princess Anne Street. Yep. And um, talk about the, the space that you've, um, that you've created here. Yeah. So in uh, our old office, we were uh, uh, eight people in a very small quarter, about 900 square foot. And we, we were growing so rapidly that we figured we needed a much bigger space that we could grow into. And Bianca actually found this space here. Uh, and worked with Ed and um, this spot took about eight months to do a complete build out and uh, yeah I mean we absolutely love it yeah it's great so Ed's being Ed Whalen uh, the owner of this this complex and so you're kind of right underneath and next to the the woolen mill event center yep just to yep. orient people yeah got a nice big parking lot right yeah, out yeah. here dedicated parking ground level we're no longer going upstairs so it's uh, it, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. So talk <laughs> a little bit about the space and like what used to be here and kind of what you've created here, converting this into an office. Yeah. So, so the way Ed told me is that before it was even Dowling Signs, it used to be a wool and leather shop and they would make uh, leather goods and wool jackets and stuff like that. And he told me a funny story. They would throw the leather scraps and wool scraps up in the ceiling because when he was doing the renovation he later found out that it was used for insulating the spot and then um, Dowling Signs was in here for a good bit I'm not sure on the exact timeline um, but then they went out and then Ed completely took everything out of here there was still old equipments and signs and everything and uh, he worked with us on doing this complete build out which took about eight months yeah it's beautiful and the line talk about the lines that are on the floor what that symbolizes yeah so the lines are actually uh, it used to be where the assembly lines were where the big machines were and then these walkways are where no equipments or any tools should be left um, in your typical uh, assembly line where you could have a hazard of someone tripping and falling but it was originally yellow but we painted it with our company color orange yeah, yeah. And uh, now you're, this is about 5,000 square feet here, yeah. so it allows you to grow. It sounds like you already have, what, about nine employees? Yeah, and so we're at nine now, and um, we've grown tremendously uh, throughout COVID. Uh, it's been really, uh, it's been a blessing for us. Uh, I know it hasn't been for everyone, but in, in our field, tech has kind of been shoved down people's throats in the sense of you need it to work remotely if you have employees working remotely. Um, and just being able to adapt quickly and customers would come to us for that and we were able to help them do that. Yeah. Final co question about just the, the area that you're in. It's called the Canal Quarter District. So yeah. just talk a little bit about sort of what, you, what attracted you to this area and sort of what you see for the future of this, this yeah, area so of the city. I, I would say within the past two years, this, this district has really grown a lot with uh, a lot of new companies coming down here. And we're really excited to be a part of that because uh, we have Haley's Honey, Honey Meadery, we have Red Dragon, we have Ike's uh, Subs and, and the Art Center. Um, and there's just a lot going on down here, and, it, and we thought this, this might be the next big thing if you're not on William Street in Caroline. So, uh, and the space is beautiful, and we're, we're still on the river. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it is indeed a, a really beautiful modern office space. Yeah, so congratulations you. on what you've created over here, and congratulations on your success uh, that Rappahannock IT has had. Yeah. And we appreciate you joining us today. Yeah, thank you guys for yeah. having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Okay, so that'll do it for this week's edition. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Fred Focus newsletter and visit us on fxbg.com and uh, all of our social media platforms and we'll keep you up to date on all the great things happening in the city of Fredericksburg. See you next week.